The food industry is packed full of career opportunities. I'm Emma Peterson, and join me to explore one of the many areas in the world of food processing, technology, and safety. As the weather starts to warm up, ice cream becomes a popular treat. Today, we are going to talk about America's favorite frozen dessert, vanilla ice cream. Ice cream is made by combining milk, heavy cream, and sugar or other sweeteners, and then heating this mixture up. In commercial settings, this step is called pasteurization. Pasteurization is a heat treatment that kills harmful bacteria in the milk. In this specific at-home ice cream formulation, we heat the ice cream base to a boil, then add cornstarch to thicken the mixture. Next, whisk the hot ice cream base into cream cheese, and finally, add vanilla extract. After that, the ice cream base needs to be cooled as quickly as possible. Here, we are transferring it to a zip-top bag and immersing it in an ice bath. The next step is to let the ice cream base age for 4 to 24 hours at this cooled temperature. Aging improves the texture of the ice cream by allowing the components to settle. Next, the ice cream base is frozen. During freezing, the mixture is constantly agitated, which incorporates air. This is done by the action of a dasher, as seen in this home ice cream maker. The incorporation of air creates the characteristic texture of ice cream. After freezing, enjoy the ice cream immediately for a soft serve consistency. Otherwise, place the ice cream in a container and harden in the freezer for at least four hours. After hardening, top with whatever mixins you want, and then enjoy.